Alright, history101.com. Wanted to go over something real quick. And my infatuation now with these damn underground caves. Which it looks like my damn phone ain't gonna let me get on to what I need, damn it. Come on, you piece of poop. Here we are. Step inside the unbelievable underground city of Durinkuyu. Whatever the hell that is. City which has sat hundreds of feet below the Earth's surface for centuries. Unbelievable. And more of these are coming out. Uh, I don't even know if I want to do that. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I ain't gonna go through the slideshow, but this right here is enough. Yeah, see? God damn it. Enough to give an idea. And this is out in Turkey. Um. Hidden for thousands of years, mind you. Who in their right mind? Besides this one, I can't find my other article, but a guy. Started uh, doing some remodeling on his house. If anybody wants to look that up, I lost it. I might do it in another video. I don't know. <clears throat> but if anybody looks it up, it's about a guy who started uh, remodeling in his house to make more room for his family in the basement. And when he opened the friggin' up a wall and started banging it out, he opened up a tunnel way that led to some mysterious caves. And so forth. But this is the protecting in uh, ancient inhabitants. Inhabitants. The underground cities gave thousands of people shelter to live their lives in total secrecy. What archaeologists and historians found when they started exploring still has them baffled to this day. And that's right. What is really beneath us? And I keep saying this. So if I go back, I'm gonna go back here, go back here, and go up here. Cause like I said, in uh, Oregon, there is another thing of caves if I can find it god damn you Oregon caves I mean I think I might have mentioned this in another video of course but I figured I'd go over the damn thing because this is two and three with the other guy banging through his house and found in more caves I mean, it's unbelievable what could be beneath under this friggin' earth we're walking right now. And explain what keeps being found. What more there is than just above ground. It's just insane. Hey, you stupid jerk. And this is a national monument and preserve. And literally, you have to pay to get any access to go to this friggin' cave. But, um... Region of the state, 1909, the caves were declared one of the only five national mon mon yeah, monuments in Oregon. 15,000 feet of subterranean pathways. Over 4,000 acres above ground trails. But uh, they, it, it goes on. And just to think. Silent Rock. I don't know, man. I'm going to look that up. But just to think. What I've been saying in my past videos. And thinking about these damn UFOs coming out of rivers. You know, friggin'. Hills like Hell Pond falling in the goddamn water. 
and having no depth. So what is really beneath us? Either we're um, suffering big sinkholes, and but these were lived in. So you can't even say sinkholes. These things were friggin' lived in. And this is in Southern Oregon, one of the old uh, arsenic crust in Western America. And so conceal the river sticks. National first only underground wild and scenic river sticks, huh? And I was looking at that and I'm thinking of the band sticks and the if anybody don't know what the name of sticks means spelt S-T-Y-X is the river supposedly that the Bible claims in hell. Yeah, that's right. The river sticks in hell. But, I mean, there's 90 minute cave tours here. Like I said, you gotta friggin' pay to get into this. But just to think what is beneath us. I mean, I'm sure everybody's obviously maybe looked this up or so forth, but when you read about stuff that's happened back in times of the Indian era, I mean, the you know, the olden days of the 16, 1500s, and shit just disappearing and falling in the water back then, who knows what the hell was beyond, what is beyond, and these have been on in that other cave from Turkey, for centuries. So them pyramids that means out in Egypt are really, could be really hidden, not only tombs, but tunnels underneath the ground and what lives underneath us. So if these serpents and these creatures that have been coming out of the water for hundreds and thousands of years and Indians have been seeing them. You know, this can only mean that this is the truth. And that, um, <laughs> damn. They just probably all went back under. And I can say for this, why these creatures don't show themselves today is they're probably scared of that goddamn noise that pollutes the air when they come up. And it probably scares them, don't get me wrong. Because back then, there was no noise of vehicles, trucks, you know, these loud, friggin' baffled cars going by, you ain't go, Wah! let alone, you know, friggin' Harley Davidson motorcycles, Wah! you know, all these loud noises, crazy stuff. And you think these ancient creatures are gonna stand up to the future and say, hey, here I am, and bah! oh, hell no, they're gonna dive back on and say, what the hell was that? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Hang on, I'm looking for the goddamn pub. Go to the bathroom, Ted. Do your business. What are your business? So they look at me, you stupid goddamn pub. But anyways, I didn't, I didn't, like I said, I couldn't find that other one of that other guy, but he did two break down walls and find goddamn tunnels and caves throughout his house. Mind you, I mean, it was tunnels that they used for slavery back in the day, train and subway tunnels that are left now abandoned. You know, there's more than just meets the eye of them. These other things in caves like Mystery Hill, I'm for damn sure them um, go down further in the ground than what people know of. Probably just don't want you to go down there is right, because if you do, you're going to die or get lost. Have a proc fall on your head and get killed, but other than that, man, I'm I'm mesmerized right now. I mean, I've heard of stuff in caves, but to keep finding out they're coming out, getting out more and more on this. And give me a sec. Four times is nothing, bro. Sure it is. Imagine having four times. I'm gonna finish up, but. Just the simple fact that this stuff just keeps coming up now. Coming up now. I keep getting articles on these goddamn things. But I gotta keep covering. I gotta keep um, proving myself too, you know, just in case. And, uh, 
Well, I'm sure everybody that's interested in caves has been looking stuff up like this. But it's, uh... The old stories that come up with me and bringing them out with the new stories. And, you know... It's like, damn. I won't, it's crazy what's beneath these grounds. Excuse me. It's just insane just to think that all these damn things that have been seen in the past have been told the truth. You can't not, you can't go about saying, oh, yeah, this, oh, that was all fake. They didn't know what they were talking about. They, they, they saw things. They may be seeing things. Well, hell no. If there's caves like this in Oregon, if there's caves like this throughout the whole United States, the caves that go all the way to goddamn Turkey. <sighs> you got to you gotta open and spread your mind, boy. You're going to be sitting here wondering all day what the hell really goes beneath the friggin', you know, the, under this earth. And for the, and the mass of the earth to be... Uh, you know, say so, like 85 or something percent of water. <laughs> oh man, that's a joke now. Because of land. Yeah, because you gotta think, if you go to, when you go to the beach and all the sand is there, and you had to further you go out the deeper, then that means all that, you know, all that's right there is uh, somehow covered up. But that don't mean that the that the ocean is right or as deep as the caves. Well, they could be friggin' tunnels or something. Some crazy thing under the ocean that leads into tunnels too. And it's just like a big opening, of course. Well, who knows? <laughs> they could have friggin' doors underneath, you know, say so like clash of the titans with the kraken they were under the ocean and they had to open that big cage for the thing to come up I mean, you know just think of big steel doors underneath us holding in but when something comes out something crazy like that and without flooding it and getting it all the water in there i don't know man it's just insane to think though these caves these things that go 15,000 feet underneath us. It's just, you know, there's something more on this goddamn earth than what people or anybody's telling us, I think. I think there's more out there than anybody meets, more than meets the eye is right. But I needed to, I needed to document this, whatever. I mean, it could be already, you know, well, wide world known. You can call me crazy, stupid, but... You know, looking in the past and seeing Hell Pond in a hill collapsing underneath and water coming up. You got to think, what made that do that? What was under there that said, let's make a waterway. Let's make an open door so it can fly in and out. Like I said, UFOs coming in and out. Shoom, shoom. It's just friggin' crazy what to think is. What is friggin' beneath us? And... Nobody ain't gonna really know because there ain't gonna be no one telling you. It's all a secret hidden. Ha ha ha. Crazy though, it's insane. It makes me think more, man, what the hell's gonna come up one day? What's really gonna blow up out of this goddamn ground? Suck us all in. Florida with their sinkholes, you know? They're probably not sinkholes. They're probably things underneath us digging, traveling, and because they dug too close to the surface, <laughs> Collapse. Yeah, that's right. Unbelievable. But until the next video, be safe, take be care, and beware. These caves, man, they keep coming up. All this damn stuff keeps coming up now. It's like, damn. And I'm just blown away. Because when I started, I mean, I've seen stuff in the past, but the more that I have started now, my research on Hell Pond and stuff like that, and bouncing through the Massachusetts, yeah, just to think what's all around the world, it's just nuts. Friggin' crazy. Till the next video. Keep your minds working, people. There's something beneath us, and you better believe it. Don't know what it is yet. 
Hopefully one day we find out by me. <laughs> Who needs a scientist? Out.